Hi, I'm Mike Meyer from Mike Meyer Inc. And I want to explain to you why you should have a mod and a rod kit on your car. Not only do I want to explain that, but I also want to explain how it works and answer a few questions about our designs that a lot of people ask. So let's jump right into it. One of the first things that people ask, almost ask us all the time is, why didn't we do a Watts link? Um, so I'm going to walk through on how a pattern bar and a Watts link work. So let's, let's do it. So there's a couple things that you need to know about panel bars and watts links and any kind of side-to-side -side control component. You need to understand three components. Number one, center of gravity. So where the weight is in your car. The next thing is roll center, where that weight leans on. So we've got center of gravity up here, and we've got the roll center here. And then the next thing you're gonna have is the final thing is the track. So that's when it leans, how it applies that weight to the tire. So and we're going to tie this all in and how it works on your Mustang here in a second. So a couple of fundamental things about this is center of gravity leans on the roll center and applies weight to the tire. Okay, so if the center, if the roll center is closer to the center of gravity, it won't have as much leverage to lean on the tire. If this roll center is further away from the center of gravity, it'll have more leverage to lean on the tire. Okay, so that will make the car feel softer and roll, and it gives you more side bite. So the next thing is, how does a Watts link work? How does a panner bar work? A Watts link is generally suspended by two points. It could be on the chassis and the center of the pivot on the rear end housing, or vice versa. This could be on the chassis and these can be on the axle. Doesn't quite matter. And what happens is as this goes up and down, like, like so, the watts link here will pivot on a bearing in the middle. Now, that's really, really a wonderful thing because it keeps the axle centered in the chassis, which is really a good thing. But the thing that happens is a lot of these street cars, we're mounting these watts links on the back of these housings. Now, what that does, that dictates your roll center as the center of this, of this football. That takes this and raises it up slightly. What that does, that makes the car slightly stiffer and roll, and it makes the car want to be a little freer. The back of the car wants to hang out when you're doing these little track days and you know canyon carving and whatnot. Now, what the panner bar does is the panner bar allows us to mount the bar itself, and the bar is the roll center uh, versus the center of the pivot of the watts line. This bar can be mounted lower because there's not much hanging down below it like the Watts Link. The Watts Link has this whole section hanging down below. You know, the panner bar doesn't. So with that being said, we can get the panner bar lower with a lower roll center than the Watts Link. The next thing that we have going on is simplicity. If we're gonna sell this to people who aren't gonna be Mario and Dreddy next week, we just want a car that handles better and works really well, we're not, for at least in our shop, we got money to spend in the whole car, not just the one component. It's cheaper for us to manufacture a really good pattern bar than to do a really wonderful watts link. And what that means is that we can sell you a component that's palatable financially, and it works really well. It gets our roll center down where we want it, we can install it fairly simply, and we can move on with our life and have a really, really great handling car. So getting the roll center down lower will allow us to get that side bite that we want. And again, I don't care if it's a panner bar or a watts link, it doesn't really matter to me, it's just how it functions and what you end up getting. So we get this panner bar down, we get the watts link here, it stays up a little higher. And the other thing that happens, if you wanna raise your panner bar, let's say you're really getting into these track days, we make it adjustable, you can see right here, and we make it adjustable here, where we can raise the bar up or we can push it down fairly simply. And what that does, that raises and lowers the roll center. Whereas with the Watts Link, if you raise and lower the center, these arms will now be at an angle and you'll get a side jacking force, making the car inconsistent when it drives through the turn. A little bit inconsistent. Now it's getting pretty finite in that conversation. So um, some of us aren't there yet. However, that right there, we preferred not to have that jacking force. It's just not something we wanted um, to have anything adjusted like so and have that jacking. The panel bar doesn't do that as much. 
Now, the next thing that we have going on is how does this apply to your Mustang? What happens is with your Mustang, when you go into a turn, the leaf springs, excuse me, the leaf springs flex quite a bit. It can move up to two inches side to side, the body over the rear axle. When that happens, what we get is a lot of lateral flex, and then the car all of a sudden springs loose in the middle of the corner, and that's where the cars are a little squirrely. So what, when you mount in a lateral control device like our pattern bar, what that will do is that will center the body over your rear housing and keep that thing from floating and flexing, and that gives you, the driver, a much more confident feel in the back of the car when you enter a turn at speed. And not only is this just a really fun track meal for the street, when you avoid something like a tire track in the middle of the freeway, when you're doing uh, just school and weekend driving, it's amazing how good this thing feels under your car. Look us up at MikeMeyerInc.com. Look at our Facebook page at uh, Mike Meyer Inc. You can check us out on Instagram, Mike Meyer Inc. again. So look us up, look up the panel bar, do a little research on it, and pick one up. Thanks a bunch.